Hey guys, it's Ollie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing our second annual Q&A for New Year's and Prim is kind of joining us here. I'm not getting her out because I really don't want to have to corral all of my cats. Um, if you don't know, I do have three cats and this is my living room. I just don't want to have to bother them. They're all really comfy. So we're just going to film in front of Prim's enclosure with Prim managing, micromanaging me. All right, so let's start off with Slugs Galore 15. Well, no, I, got, I got to put my glasses on, I'm sorry. All right, so let's start out with Slugs Galore 15. Um, they asked, my favorite and least favorite things about keeping so many pets. Also, congrats on your wedding. Thank you very much. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, I did get married this year, last month actually. So that's really exciting. Uh, my partner's pronouns are they them, by the way, just letting everybody know. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. And as far as the question, my favorite and least favorite things about keeping so many pets. My favorite thing is that I really like to watch them be them. I think it's a lot of fun to watch animals just kind of be animals, I guess. Uh, it is what my career path is hopefully going to be going down. It is like my whole life, honestly. I love catering to them. I really like... Um, just taking care of them in general. As far as my least favorite thing is that it does interfere with your daily life. So I think one of the biggest downsides is the cost. The stigma around it kind of sucks. Um, no one likes hearing people wish ill on animals they consider their pets. And also I think uh, it puts a lot of limitations on travel and vacations. We don't really get a lot of those because we have to get pet sitters for that kind of stuff, unless one of us stays behind, but it's definitely not for everybody. All right, Just Jungle 3 asked, would you ever become a breeder? I've actually thought about it, honestly. I do breed um, like my feeder insects. Those are bred by me, but <sighs> I've thought about maybe in the past doing something with snakes, maybe. I've thought about breeding snails. It's just a lot of laws around it are so complicated and I don't really want to get involved in it but I have thought of it and I might do it one day um inverts probably actually with the blue death fainting beetles I'm actually considering trying to maybe set up something with that they're kind of hard to bring in captivity right now so a lot of them are wild caught and I would like to maybe help in changing that that would be really cool um I just have to save up to get like an incubator and stuff like that so all right question number three is from danny and maddie what species is the hardest or more expensive um i would honestly have to say other than my dogs and cats because obviously dogs and cats need a large amount of space and enrichment but uh out of reptiles the hardest one and the most expensive one is probably this one is probably prim um she eats the most out of all of them she uses the most light she uses the most heat you're kind of an expensive lizard dude what do you feel about that <laughs> she's also the messiest animal i have she will look you in the eyes right after you have cleaned an enclosure and just poop and smear it everywhere so that's prim as far as care bearded dragons aren't too hard but I also don't have like a lot of hard animals at all. So as far as hardest care for reptiles or inverts goes, I would still say it's Prim. All right. <sighs> Next question is from Trees Are Cool. How to convince your parents to get bugs and snakes? Oof. That's, that is a hard one. I never actually, I, I take it back. I did once. I did convince my mom to let me get a corn snake in high school. My mom's just honestly really chill. I'm not gonna lie. She just let me do it. As long as I was the one paying for it, she didn't really care. So I think the biggest thing is if you have your own job and you have your own way of taking care of it and it being stable, then that's probably a good first step. A second first step, second first step, a second step would probably be something like, if you wanna really impress them, you can make a PowerPoint or something and like, present research to show that you have thought about it a lot and that this is something that you are actually interested in 
And I would definitely start with maybe something a little bit easy. So like you said you wanted to get bugs and snakes, I would probably start with one of those and pick the one that your parents are less squeamish with would probably be the best option. But as far as, as all of that, um, you can show them, you, this is what I did with my mom, for example, I got my mom really into Snake Discovery. I would recommend that if you can kind of get them into it, they might be more open to it, if that makes sense. So that is what I would do, um, just to show that you do have that interest and it's not just something that you're gonna get bored of in a month. Best of luck with that, because I lucked out. I had a really chill mom. <laughs> Snail Wizard asked, how has testosterone been? I'm so excited for you. Thank you, Snail Wizard. It has been really nice, actually. Uh, it has been a much better experience. I am way more confident. And yeah, it's all been really, really good. And yeah. <laughs> Radaculous, which if you don't follow them on Instagram, I highly, highly recommend, asked, what made you want to start keeping snails? So this is actually kind of a funny one. I have always wanted to keep snails. I just didn't know it was an option. So when I was a kid, I actually used to sneak in snails from outside into my house. Um, and I would just have like five snails hanging out on my bedside table, convinced myself they were just gonna stay there. They did not. So I used to just catch them because I wanted them as pets really, really bad. Uh, and then when we got our first apartment, I really wanted snails, but again, didn't really think that was a thing people did. And I posted about it in a Facebook group called Josser's Jungle. And everyone was like, yeah, snails are actually pretty freaking easy. Looked into it and now I have snails. So I've always wanted them in some odd way. I'm not really sure why. I just really like snails. I think that they're very cute. They have very interesting personalities. They're very interesting creatures. Um, but I don't really know what started that fascination, to be honest with you. <clears throat> okay, Layla, listen, you changed up your username and I am, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is your last name, right? So I don't want to butcher it. Um, is it Avocet? Avocet Exotics? Layla, please? I should have asked you ahead of time. Avocet, I think, Exotics. She asked, what is the thing that you are most proud of comp excuse me. What is the thing you are most proud of accomplishing in 2022? For 2022, I think the best thing I did, I did a lot actually, this was a very good year for me. Um, I think honestly starting my current job was a big one because now I get free schooling and I get good insurance and I get free therapy and uh, that was really like really awesome to do and I like the job and it pays well. So that was game-changing this year um also the testosterone was a big one this year getting married was huge this year i did a lot of stuff this year so <laughs> yeah it was a good year uh, she also asked if i have any big plans for 2023 a lot of health goals going on a lot of upgrade goals going on i am planning on getting one or two different species but i will not be disclosing that till i get them so you're not, you're not going to get a lot out of me. I am sorry. I have, I'm working on some stuff. Yeah. One of the really cool things is I am going back to college in spring and I am going for a bio degree in, um, conservation biology and ecology. Sierra Sue asked, what pet tubers do you watch? All right. So listen, I got into pet tube through Josser's Jungle and Tyler Ruggie. Um, Emzotic was a big one and still is. These are all still ones I watch. I don't think Jossa really uploads anymore, unfortunately. But, um, I would say those guys, ZA Reptiles, Maddie Smith, Snake Discovery is a big one in my house. I watch a lot of Tarantula Cat. I watch a lot of Slightly Venomous. Um, if you haven't watched either of those and you are into inverts, highly, highly, highly recommend. But yeah. Um, those are just a few of them. I definitely don't know all of the ones I watch because I do watch quite a bit of Pet Tube. Makeshift Muppet asked, how was your year and how were your holidays? Uh, my year was really, really good. It was a really good year. Um, and my holidays were actually surprisingly good too. I was missing a few people, but um, the holidays overall were pretty good. And the last question for this video is once again by Makeshift Muppet. 
and it is what do you what advice do you have for a new keeper? Honestly, the best advice I can give a new keeper is to never stop learning and to never stop updating care guides and reading up on the pets that you keep. It is super, super important. Information changes all of the time. And also just definitely don't be afraid to admit when you're wrong or that you've made a mistake. It's perfectly normal. It's perfectly part of pet keeping. And if you happen to get in over your head, please, please, please don't be afraid to reach out for help. But those are the biggest advices I have for you. As far as more general advice, if you have more than one, definitely work on maybe having a care binder, a calendar of sorts to keep track of feeding, stuff like that. Definitely don't be afraid to use tools to help you remember things. But yeah, first and foremost is research, research, research. Don't stop researching. All right, guys, well, that was all for today's video. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I'm sorry I didn't quite get to everyone's questions, but these were just the first ones that came in. I really hope you enjoyed this. So I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, thank you for all of your amazing questions. As always, give this video a like for the algorithm. Comment down below how your 2022 was and how you think your 2023 is going to be. And don't forget to subscribe if you are into this kind of content or really any animal kind of content. I upload every single Saturday around noon Easter Standard Time, but you can hit the bell if you don't want to remember that. And as always, I'll see you guys next week, next year. <laughs> Bye.